All right, hey guys, I hope you can see me. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at access from the software perspective, taking a look at Windows 10 and uh, checking performance, navigating some menus, and hopefully answering some of your questions. All right, so the first thing to get us started is boot time. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the access compared to my older Intel Skull Canyon Nook, but I'll go ahead and start off by booting up the system. So we just, it's already plugged in. We just hit the on off switch. And we're in. Okay, so you can see that the home screen is, is pretty basic. We've got a nice Axis One logo uh, with the Waves logo below. Um, you can see it's pretty stripped down, very basic. We've got Emotion LV1 in the bottom corner here, some icons. Um, you've got quick access to this PC. Everything's in dark mode, so that's pretty nice and clean. So this is gonna look very familiar to your, your typ typical Windows configuration. We'll get rid of that. Um, I've just added this Waves Presets folder. This is all my presets for uh, the channel strips or you know whatever in LV1. You've got easy access to Waves Central right here. Here's another LV1 shortcut, sound grid driver control panel. Um, and then what's different is this utilities folder. And you have a couple options right here. You've got the option to add LV1 to startup, which I have it turned off for now. Um, you can remove LV1 from startup. These are just batch files. Um, then you've got access to the SoundGrid driver control panel, some SoundGrid diagnostics. Um, you can go and adjust some tablet, P uh, tablet PC settings right here. Um, and then you also have TeamViewer installed by default. So if you have any problems with your system, you already have TeamViewer installed and ready to go. So we'll just go down to the start menu here. You can see it's pretty barren by default. We can go to list view, so you can get an idea of what everything is in here. Um, pretty basic, really not much installed at all. Some of the Waves applications, uh, you have a search function, you can go into settings, we'll take a look at that in one second. Some accessories like calculator, here's Internet Explorer, notepad, all that kind of nonsense and then uh, some administrative stuff as well so windows 10 is installed uh with waves version 10 software ready to go um, but you can easily just go into Waves central connected to the internet and transfer your license to your access or usb key and update everything via wave central just like you would normally be doing. Questions come up before, is Windows 10 activated? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, Windows 10 is all ready to go. You don't need to log in. You don't need to put any sort of user key. Uh, it's the enterprise edition. So Waves has already set that up for you. Protecting it from malware uh, and security. Um, basically what you have is just the stock Windows Defender uh, built in. The built-in security that Windows had is, is pretty comprehensive. So I actually don't even run any antivirus or inner security stuff on my regular PCs anymore. Um, everything is just basically uh, Windows Defender. So, and that's what you have here. So your typical security suite from Windows. Security updates. So you know, you're getting your typical updates from Wave Central, but what about security updates from Microsoft? You know, is that something you have to be concerned about? or just leave it alone? Is Waves gonna distribute that? The reality is uh, you'll be doing all of that yourself. Um, all you have to do is go down to your settings and then updates. And you'll see, if you're connected to the internet, you'll see all your security updates that uh, are available to you here. Oops, view my updates. So just uh, some security updates cumulative updates, uh, you know, Microsoft framework updates. So these are just basic stuff. It's not your, um, not new features, um, 
just focus on like security updates and, and, and drivers. So these are these are things that are going to be okay to install and you just would update them at um, your own convenience. Uh, by default, they're not set to automatically download. Um, but you know, if they do come available, these should be okay to update uh, via this method. All right, I'm going to open up Task Manager real quick because I want to, we're going to compare this to my Nook here pretty soon. Uh, so we'll just go to search Task Manager. So you can actually really see, really stripped down. Uh, our CPU is, well, I just launched Task Manager, uh, but when I was running this earlier, we're about 0% to 1% running at 4 gigahertz. So you can see like there's not really, really anything running at all in the background. Uh, so we'll go ahead and launch LV1. We'll go ahead and see how long that takes to boot up. All right, so we are into LV1 now, and we're syncing up. Just go ahead and maximize that, and then we're gonna check the general responsiveness. We'll compare the uh, Nook here pretty soon. So we'll just go across the top. So this is going between tabs. So pretty snappy, pretty quick. Custom layers. Let's check out some of my plugins. If we need to add, let's get rid of that one. Let's go up and add EQ of this mastering plugin. Let's get rid of this plugin. Let's go to, let's grab this mastering plugin. Faders are really smooth. Selecting channels. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of boring, uh, just overall. Um, but I mean, that's kind of the idea behind it really is just very basic, very stripped down version of windows 10, um, just to run LV one or, or you could install multi rec, I guess as well. Um, and use it for that. All right, guys, so I hope this has been an informative video uh, and give you a little bit of insight into the Access uh, computer by Waves Audio. Post your questions in the comments below. I'd love to know uh, what you think about the Access. And yeah, I hope to have some more uh, Access stuff coming out soon. So uh, thanks a lot.